Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, welcome back to another week in beginning After Effects. This week's project, uh, you're going to create a 10-second promotional spot for a, a public place. It could be a, a park, a business of somebody you know. Uh, it could just be a shopping center. <laughs> can be a lot of different things really so just a public a promotional kind of uh, 10 second commercial spot for a public place of some kind that could be anywhere really um, and the interesting thing about it will be how interesting you make it using After Effects and in this project we're going to use some blending modes we're going to use um, some adjustment layers I'll show you how those work and we're going to use some video footage. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do is create our project. So new project, new composition here. Uh, we're going to go 720 by 540. And um, we'll go ahead and just do 29.97 frames per second or 30, whatever you want to put in there is fine. <clears throat> and the duration is going to be a 10 second movie here. So let's change the 5 to 10 ready to go there click OK and now we have a 10 second spot here okay so now what we want to do is bring in a couple of video clips um, and I'll show you how the blending modes work um, so let's go ahead and file import I'm just gonna bring two clips in and these are clips that I shot at the Monterey Aquarium I spend a lot of time there or I did when I was uh, raising our kids they like to go to the aquarium a lot, so I spent quite a bit of time there and shot some footage. So let me grab a, this clip here, and let's grab one more here. File, import, file, and let's see, maybe, oh, that's a pretty one right there. Let's grab that one. Okay, so we have two clips here, so let's go ahead and bring these down to the timeline. And these are pretty big files, so I don't know how they'll play. And let's see how if they'll even play here. Okay, so far. Oh, okay, so then to do some uh, blending here, let's turn off the speakers here. Um, to do some blending, you do it on the top layer here. Now, if you're looking at your timeline here and you don't see the, the, the words normal next to your layer title or the word mode, just click your toggle switches and modes down on the bottom and they'll show up here. And this is where you'd apply a blending mode here. So instead of normal, you click in here and then you just grab one of the uh, blending modes and check it out. You get some really neat effects. That's really awesome. I love that. That is cool. Um, and what I can also do is open up the layer here. And if it, if it looks too bright or too intense, I can bring down the opacity and blend it that way too. We get some nice effects that way as well. Okay, and so that's how blending modes work. You basically click on one of the modes here and you choose a different blending mode. And you can also adjust the opacity to get some uh, neat effects there too. That's kind of interesting too, very subtle. Okay, and so try, I would recommend trying different blends until you see the one you really, really like. That one's nice and subtle. But look at the nice color that it adds. Okay, so now that you know how um, <clears throat> blending modes work, again, they're under uh, mode here, but now that you know how they work, we can do this in a methodical way. Since I have a 10 second, um, animation here, I can do maybe short two second clips of pairs. So I'm going to go ahead and just create some new compositions. Okay, and we're going to call this one sequence one or S1. Click OK, and we're actually, I want to make these two seconds each. So I'm going to punch in two instead of 10 seconds. So sequence one here is two seconds long here. And now I'm going to grab these two clips that I used before and put these in here and again you can change the order of these you can uh, let's turn off the sound on those oops 
you can uh, try reversing the order and see what that looks like. And again, if you need to get to the uh, blending modes, just click toggle switches and modes here. This top layer here, we're going to go ahead and uh, try a different filter here. Let's try saturation. Oh, well, that's kind of neat. Okay. Um, that's kind of a cool effect there. Okay, or we can uh, reverse that. Let's actually try a couple more here. Difference is always fun. That's nice too. I like that. And we can again open up the uh, layer here on the top here. Maybe bring the opacity down a little bit and create a neat effect that way as well. That's really cool. I love the colors. Um, so that's a kind of a neat effect there. Okay, um, we can also try an adjustment layer here too. Let's see how that would work here. Let's go up to layer, new. Let's do an adjustment layer on the top and then on this layer let's see if we can affect everything down below it by adding some kind of a filter maybe. So let's go to effects here. Uh, if, they, if you don't see them go to window, turn on effects and presets here. And let's again, let's try some uh, Let's see. Let's try some color correction here. And let's just try curves here. So I'm going to drop curves onto my adjustment layer and see if I can affect the layers beneath it. Yeah, without without um, damaging those layers. And so there you can make some color adjustments as well. Let's grab the green here. Well, it's kind of interesting. I really like that. So you can kind of bring out the complementary colors as well. It's kind of nice there. I like that. Okay. And just keep playing around with the bands here if you uh, see fit to do that. That looks nice right there. Okay, so that would be my first sequence. So that's what I have so far. You can see it'll stop there at two seconds. And let's go ahead and close this. And let's go ahead and create a new composition again. Composition new. Again, we're going to do two seconds. Same settings otherwise. Oh yeah, I forgot to name it, right? So we're going to have to rename this. So let's go up to composition settings here and we'll call this S2. And the same thing with S2, we're going to... Uh, bring in a couple more clips so file import file remember I saved all these video clips in here um, so let's try using this one and let's see here what would go well with the blue maybe this one here hold down control there and I can click both those clips click import and then we'll bring these down into uh, two there and that's kind of a neat clip right there now combine that one I'm going to turn off the audio here with this one underneath is kind of interesting oh that's the recycling uh, plastic statue so maybe I wouldn't use that one don't want to promote that <laughs> somebody took all the plastic from the ocean and made a sculpture out of it um, which gets the point across there I guess so let's try one more import file, and let's go with, yeah, let's try this one. Okay, and then this one here, we'll go down here on the bottom, turn off the audio, and that one was kind of more of the greens and yellows. So let's see what we can do with these here, and let's go ahead and, actually, let's put this other one on the top. I'd like to filter that one a little bit, and let's try hue. A neat effect, but a little too, uh, almost looks too much cut out. So again, let's try some other effects there. That looks kind of neat. Let's do some color dodge, maybe. Ooh, I like that. And just play around with these uh, filters until you see what you like. Eh. Eh, let's try linear burn, 
maybe bring down the opacity here just to see what that does. Eh, not, nothing too intense there. Uh, so keep going here and look around here. Let's go for uh, let's see what Dancing Dissolve does. No, it doesn't do anything. Let's try Luminosity. Okay. Maybe color. Bring the opacity down a little bit. It's kind of interesting. Let's try that similar there, but we'll go with saturation or hue. That's kind of cool. I like that. Not quite finding what I'm looking for here, though. Let's try difference. Difference is always fun. Okay, not too bad. Let's try, uh, let's just try regular old difference. Oh, I like that. Bring that up. That's kind of nice right there. Okay. So the other thing, again, is you can try reversing them. You know, that's possible that you'll find something better uh, upon reversal there. And let's go ahead and bring the opacity back up. And let's go ahead and switch these. You may see a difference there. So let's go ahead and bring this one up top. And let's see here. I'm not sure why that other layer is not showing up behind it, underneath it. Ah, because I'm in the layer edit window. Let's go back to composition. There we go. Okay, so up top here again, we can apply. Again, let's try the uh, luminosity. Not seeing much of a difference there. There's hue. Uh, let's try exclusion. Exclusion sometimes yields nice results. Transform. Let's bring the opacity down. Well, that's kind of nice. A little hazy looking though. Let's try the. Ooh, I like that. That's cool. Almost pin light. Let's stick with some of these. Let's try vivid light. No, well, it's not. Kind of getting away from what I wanted to do. That's a neat blend, though. I like that. Uh, let's try hard mix. Maybe bring up the opacity a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Not sure what happened there. All right, let's try overlay. Overlay is a nice one too. Again, let's bring the opacity. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, and let's try. Uh, no, let's try. Um, so I think I already tried linear. I like that though. Let's see what happens if I bring that down a little bit. That looks pretty good. And then maybe I could add some color correction to one of these. Um, let's go for color correction on the top layer again. Again, I like to use curves. You can try others, of course. Um, but curves to me is fun. It's easily controllable. And you can play around with just different color schemes there. I like that. I can bring I can make a point on there and kind of curve my uh, look here that's pulling all the red out I want to actually put some red in there without putting too much that looks pretty cool right there you see you get some nice uh, complementary colors so that'll be my uh, sequence number two there and let's go ahead and make a new composition here this is going to be sequence three or S3. And everything's the same. There we go. Let's go ahead and go back to our uh, 
project window here. Um, let me close that for a second. There we go. And let's just go ahead and grab a couple more clips here. So file, import. And let's go with this one and this one. This should be interesting right there. Go ahead and import those. Oops, I only wanted two of them. So file, import, file. And I was going to grab, maybe I already grabbed that one. Let's see here. I already have that one in there. Okay, let's try a couple others here. Let's try this one. And uh, maybe this one. Just some different colors there. Oops, I don't want the whole thing. So if you click one, click on one here, hold down control instead of shift, and it'll just grab the other one you clicked on. There we go. So we're going to bring these down to, um, actually, let's go to three, sequence three. And we have some crabs there. That's kind of interesting. Let's again turn off the audio. And uh, let's try a blending mode on this one. Okay, and there's stencil luma. That's kind of interesting. Notice there it's rendering. And again, you can play with the opacity control here. I think that helps uh, fine tune some of them. That's just going to make it darker. So let's try something else here. Try exclusion again. Whew. Some of these are oh, that looks really cool though. Does that look any different than the bottom one? It brings out some of the detail underneath with the other layer. I do like that. Uh, so that's cool. I might bring this up a little bit, maybe about there, and then I could again do some color correction or some color enhancement here. And again, if you want to do uh, another thing, you could do is bring in a third clip. Let's go ahead and bring that one in that I was going to bring in before. We'll put that one on top and then we'll do an adjustment layer above it. Um, but first let's go ahead and do a uh, a mix here. That's difference. We've been using that one. That one always looks nice. Again, uh, opacity controls can really help things go a long way. If you look at that, you can see what's going on. I don't really, I'm not really crazy about the uh, effect there, though. Um, oh, now that, now we're getting somewhere. That's hard light, so I really like that. If I bring that up, it's going to, uh, or if I bring this down, look at that. It's beautiful. And again, if you want to uh, try a non-destructive effect on top of all three, Let's go ahead and grab an effect over here. Instead of color correction this time, let's try, um, oh, let's see. Let's try generate. Let's try light rays. And we're just, again, oh yeah, we were gonna do this on an adjustment layer first. Sorry about that. So let's go up to layer, new, adjustment. Okay, and this is a layer that's unique to itself, but it'll affect the layers beneath it. So that's kind of neat. So you can do some non-destructive editing this way. Add some light rays in there, and here you can, uh, you can add some of the, change up some of the details. Let's bring the softness down. And you can change the center. You can have this, you can even keyframe this to move around, which is kind of interesting. Intensity, you can bring that down. And you can bring it up, for that matter. So that's kind of neat. Notice the rays there are going. So that's kind of cool. I like that. I would probably maybe bring the intensity down a little bit. It's a little too much. You can see the rays there. And uh, what else? You can actually add a color to the light. So here we can... Uh, let's see. Oh, wait. I need to be on the uh, adjustment layer on the effect itself. See light rays. Let's see if we can add a color there. It doesn't look like I can change the color there for some reason. Uh, let's see here. Warp softness. Yeah, I'll bring that down. You can also up the radius here, which is kind of interesting. I like that. I really like that effect. I wish I could change the color here. 
Um, I'm not sure why I can't. Oh, there we go. If you uncheck color from source, here we can click on it and actually do a color. Oh, I love it. Okay, so here we can grab our, uh, our color picker here and change the color, which I really, really like. Maybe even just kind of give it a blue effect. Okay. And we can, uh, maybe from there, we can brighten it up a little bit. Maybe make it a little more intense. Uh, we can increase or decrease the radius. Okay. Uh, we can do the warp softness, bring it down or up. Okay. I like it. So we have a lot of control there. The only problem with colorizing is you lose the rays. That are out. So here you may want to uh, brighten it up a little bit so you can see the rays coming off of it. But we can, always, if, again, if you're having trouble, you can always delete it and add something else. Uh, we, could try a, we could try a beam, for example. play with that one a lens flare will kind of give us what we had before kind of a nice lens of or a bright effect there I like that maybe something down here just looking at where it might be serve the scene best maybe something right there Again, if you click this center part, you can move this around. It's kind of nice in there, too. Maybe move it back here a little bit. Provides a nice illumination right there. I like that. And again, if you want to uh, bring down the uh, brightness, you can. And then you can move it around that way, too, maybe without making it so conspicuous. can also um, change the lens, which is kind of neat. Okay, like that one. And let's try changing the flare center. Right there. That looks cool. All right, so you can add effects to it. So that'll be uh, three. And let's try another composition here, new composition. This is going to be S4. We're going to do five all together if we're doing 10 seconds. And again, I'm going to bring in a couple of clips. So import file. Uh, let's see. I like that one a lot. The jellyfish. That's always a winner. And uh, for some reason, I want to get this one too. So let me hold down control, grab these two. And we'll take these and bring these down to four. And again, this is what we have. We have the jellyfish. Again, let's turn off the speaker here. And we have this guy cruising around. So that might be an interesting mix right there. Let's try a, a uh, mix here. Oh, that's that's subtract, I think. So again, I can I really can't tell what some of these are going to look like until I adjust the uh, until I adjust the um, opacity. And look at that. That's kind of cool. You're getting already getting some uh, complementary colors going in there. I really like that. Let's try a few more, but I'm going to remember subtract. That's a good one. This one's nice too, especially if I bring the uh, opacity into the right mode there. That looks cool right there. I really like that. So these are really, sometimes when the differences between them is what make the layers interesting when you blend them together. Oh, well, that's cool. I love that. Okay, that looks nice. And then let's see if we can add an effect to this one. Um, let's try cell pattern. I don't think that's going to give us give me what I want. But oh wow, that's cool. So if we go open up this the cell pattern effect too, we can also adjust some levels there on that. So look at that. It just adds a nice effect there. And then we can also on that. Well, no, on the cell pattern. I was trying to see if we could add some kind of blending in there. 
Let's try that one on an adjustment layer. I think that's why it might be uh, successful for us. Let's go ahead and do layer new adjustment. And on this one, we'll put the cell pattern. And then what we can do maybe is adjust the, uh, do, let's do again, let's do a uh, blending mode here. Okay. Yeah, so far I'm not liking any of these. That's kind of interesting, especially if we transform the opacity. Just add a little texture to it. Well, that's kind of interesting. So again, playing around with these uh, different... Oh, I like that. Playing around with these different blending modes and using adjustment layers. That's kind of cool, too. Um, can really get you some effects that otherwise you wouldn't have there. So again, that's a very subtle effect, but it's there, and you can bring it up the uh, opacity here. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Okay, and then another thing you can do when you find the effect you like, let me show you one more, or a couple more here. Yeah, that's not doing much for me. Color burn. Okay, I like that. The one I did like, I think, was subtract. No. Let's try... Yeah, it's not doing much there. Let's try one more here until we find one we like. I like that. Look at the contrast there with divide. That is cool. Um, so look at that. Super cool effect. I love that. Okay, and then another thing you could do, you could add another adjustment layer. If I go layer, new, adjustment layer. Now I can also start adjusting things like... Um, you know, brightness and contrast, things like that. Let's see if we can find something like that. Maybe under stylize. Um, interesting. I'm going to try kaleidoscope. Okay, watch this. And then do a blending mode one more time. So you can really go a little bit nuts with all this. Um, but you can have produce some really trippy effects. Okay, and if I turn that off, you don't see much of a difference there. However, if we choose the right um, blending mode, we might be able to make it happen. Okay, and then bring the opacity down. And notice there, it's kind of a trippy effect going on there. So that's really cool too. There's divide, let's try exclusion. Again, great, cool effects. You can make them really subtle in the background like that. Or you could really, really bump them up and show them off there. Okay. All right. So a couple more. Okay. No. Color dodge. It's kind of cool. Again, it's not doing much, but if I bump up the opacity, you see it changes the colors. and Really kind of washes the color out though so you have to be careful i guess you know when you're deciding which one is going to work here um let's see so yeah i really liked divide that was a cool one okay all right so let's make let's get a let's make a commitment here Now, let's see. Well, I'm not sure which one I used that I really liked. Well, we can go with that one. Let me bring down, again, bring down the opacity a little bit more. You can just see, like, some movement there. Okay, so that's going to be four. And we're going to do one more now. Uh, this is going to be five. So, again, composition new. And this is going to be S5. And let's go ahead and close that. Let's go file, import one more time. Last group here. And let's do, I want to bring these people in along with maybe this one here. So control click, import those in again. We've got that jellyfish layer again. And let's go ahead and 
put our people up on top there maybe or better yet let's try it the other way around and so right here let's go ahead and give that a blending mode here okay and there's exclusion there's pin light now I like that that looks really cool okay so pin lights a good one let's see if I remember that one <laughs> that's kind of neat too uh, dig vivid light too that's a good one so these are the ones I'd probably choose between or some of these lighting soft light yeah that one's cool too and let's see what overlay looks like yeah so one of those probably is what I would go with hard mix is a little too uh, cut out for me I do like that one a lot That's cool. I, I do like that. Um, again, I may want to add some kind of uh, colorization to it. So maybe on this bottom layer this time, let's go ahead and do a uh, some kind of adjustment layer above that. Layer new, again, adjustment layer, and we'll apply the uh, color, uh, color correction here. Let's do the curves again. I like that one a lot. And again, see if I can bring out the orange a little bit more in that layer beneath it. That's kind of cool. I did help that a little bit, I guess. And let's see if we can get the reds in there more. Okay. All right, that was looking kind of cool. And then maybe on the... Uh, well, let's keep going. Let's see if we can get the blue. Let's see, where's the blue strip? There it is. If we can adjust the blue, too, a little bit, maybe we can bring out the complementary a little bit more. Like that. Maybe adjust, the, make it a little lighter. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. Okay, and that'll be our last one. And we can add some filters to it, too, before we finish up here. Okay, that's a nice shot. So I'm also want to I also want to use that for my end shot too. So, um, so what I want to do is kind of maybe provide a frame for it. So what I could do is I could just go on the top layer here, and then under the effects and presets, I found perspective. Here I can apply a sphere to the layer, which is I thought was kind of interesting for as a frame. So you apply it on there, and you look and you see there you've got a little like almost a globe, and here I can make the radius larger. And that's a really neat effect, right? But I thought, what if it would be even cooler if I even had a border around that? So uh, what I did was I tried it on an adjustment layer just to see what would happen. And no, watch what happens. When, now that I have an adjustment layer, I'll put it on there. And watch what happens now. When you put it on the adjustment layer, it acts as a mask. And it's just showing what's inside the sphere. And I thought, wow, that's really cool. So I went ahead and uh, did that. You can also offset it if you want. Might be kind of nice to offset it a little bit. Like that. And uh, maybe even a little bit more, right? And I have this thing uh, working like that. So that looks pretty cool see the people moving around in there and then then what I wanted to do is provide some kind of a logo I don't know if I want to offset it that much and uh, put a logo in there in the end so <coughs> so what I did was I found one on the on the internet so I'm going to import that in file import file and in my uh, folder here I put it in here here's the logo and then I have a music file too I want to bring in too so I'm going to bring them both in at once start with the logo up top here it's going to be on the top layer and it's obviously too big so we're going to scale that down and i thought maybe i'd scale it up just kind of as a, give it some movement so maybe here it's going to be um well let's just let's just make it zero we'll make it invisible here okay and then basically we'll start keyframing that here scale 
by the time it gets to about one second, we'll have this thing up to uh, 100%, I guess, or not 100, I guess that's a lot. Maybe, uh, maybe about right there. And then maybe we'll do a position change too. So again, do position here. And then by the time it gets to here, it's going to come up there. And then by the time it gets to here, or maybe here, it'll maybe it'll move down a little bit. Something like that. Okay, so let's see what it looks like here. Okay, I like that. That's kind of cool. All right, so that's kind of how that's kind of going to be our ending shot. And so then the last thing we will do is put this all together, maybe try to come up with some transitions, and then throw some music underneath it. And I think that will that will be good. Okay, we're going to put this all together now. So I'm going to go back to comp one. Um, I should have named it. I'll just call this uh, final video, something like that. Although you don't have to name it if you don't need to. but And then what I'm going to do in final video is bring all of my uh, sequences down here that I use. So I used five sequences. There's one, right? And we're going to go ahead and, and uh, move these. Actually, we're not going to move these. We're going to keep these back at zero. And uh, let's see here. And let's see. View. Or snap to guides is on that's good so let's have this go right to zero perfect and we're just going to go ahead and click on each of these so go to C uh, sorry two here and we'll put that over here sequence three is going to go right here sequence four right there notice they kind of snap to each other when snap is on And again, let's bring this over here. Perfect. All right. So laid out, you can see the sequence here that goes from one shot to the other. Still rendering there, you can see. Notice that there's some audio still in some of them. So if I go over here, if I, if I, I can just turn all the audio off right here. Okay, you can see so far everything's looking good. Except on this one, I think I think I grabbed the wrong sequence. Let me delete that one and bring down six. I think that's the one. In fact, we could use both of them and I can make this a little bit longer. Let's do that. I'm going to make mine 12 seconds here. I want to use that clip as well as this ending clip here. So let's go ahead and bring that out. And I'm going to just increase my composition to 12 seconds so if you want to make it a little more than 10 you can let's just we'll say 10 is the minimum so 12 seconds and then i'll have this final logo come in at the end okay and so here's what we have now oops i want to go back to home uh, we want to be down here first okay home and then you're going to see each clip here you can see all the blending modes there. And that's kind of the whole point of this assignment is to apply the blending modes. And then there's my logo at the end. So here uh, again, I may, uh, I may want to do some transitions. So what I can do is I can go right to the end of this clip here, for example, and bring this over. Or uh, no, actually I can't. But what I can do is slow it down a little bit. So if I bring take this clip here and go to uh, layer, time, and time stretch. If I bump this up to 120, let's say, for example, it's going to slow it down. And now what I can do is do some kind of a uh, crossfade here, right? So let's do an opacity change here, maybe. So transform. Opacity is at 100 here. We're going to copy and paste that. Control C, Control V. And then from here to here, it's going to go down to zero. OK, 
Okay, so we can put a couple of transitions in there. So let's see what that looks like there. Okay, and there are transitions, which is kind of nice. Um, here again, same thing. We can slow this down. Let's do... Uh, stretch again let's do 120 again okay and then we'll move this over this way a little bit now with this one we'll do like a scale we'll do like a scale change so again you can do some transitions if you want so let's start here with our scale here on this clip uh, we're at hundred percent here to there Again, control C, control V. Then from here to here, we're going to scale down to zero. Okay, and let's see what that looks like here. And then again, of course, let's take a look at that so far here, what we have. home okay and here we have an opacity change scale change that's kind of nice and then this one we could leave maybe just that one alone there and maybe we could have this one rotate out that would be kind of interesting so on this one let's just go ahead and we'll do a rotation here Transform, rotation there, and then from here to here will be good. Control C, Control V, from there to here. Actually, let's do it maybe a little bit back away so we have a little more time to see the rotation. Then from here to here, we'll have it rotate. Oh, let's try three. Let's try, or maybe two. Let's see what happens when we do two. Well, that's kind of cool. Maybe not so many. So let's try, uh, let's go over here. Time we get there, let's do one. Let's bring it down to one. Let's see how that changes it. Okay, that's pretty good. I like that. We could do that and a scale change too. Okay, so 100% here. All the way to here. Control C, Control V. And from there to there, go down to zero. It's going to be a quick one. All right, let's see what that looks like. Okay, and you see it come in there. Okay, and then it comes out there. And then this one will do a scale change or a time change. So layer, time, time stretch. Again, one, let's do 120 again. We'll move this over right there. Okay, and this is what you're going to see. Okay, and then we can have it fade up too, which would be kind of interesting. This one here. So let's do, uh, uh, we'll do an opacity change right here to zero. We'll make it a quick one. While that one's spinning out, by the time it gets to about there, we'll already be up to uh, 100%. Okay. Okay, and as it spins out, the other one will come in. And let's 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 make that even a little bit longer in terms of the transition. Okay, I like that. All right, now we're talking. So we got some transitions in there. Uh, last thing I want to do is add some music in there to uh, 
brighten things up here. So let's go ahead and bring that song down here. Okay, and then let's try start with maybe a. Uh, it kind of doesn't need a fade in, it already does. So I like that. Okay, and then we'd ha we could have a fade out at the end too, maybe. Or what we could do is extend that a little longer. So instead of 12, let's do uh, 13 seconds and we'll have a fade out. So again, if you want to make it a little longer than 10 seconds, if you really need to put a lot of extra stuff in there, you know, feel free to do that. And we would just extend this one out. Or better, I don't know if I can extend that one out, but what I can do is make a still frame of it. Okay, so what we can do to uh, make this sustain longer is save this frame out. And we can use that on its own layer. So to save a frame out, Go to the actual layer where the frame is, make sure it's selected. And then what you can do is go up to uh, Composition and Save Frame As, choose File. Okay, and then here instead of Photoshop, you could use Photoshop if you want, that's fine. I'm going to use JPEG Sequence for this. Click OK. And then I'm going to call it Last Frame. I'm going to save that right back into my folder there. And notice there it says JPEG, so that's going to save it as a single JPEG. Then just click Render, and that should be done. So if I look in here in my uh, folder, you should be able to find a JPEG there. There it is, last frame JPEG. So I can bring that right back into After Effects now as a uh, still frame. And we're going to drop that in on its own layer down here. I guess we'll just do it underneath the music file here. And uh, so when this part ends, the frame will keep going. Watch what happens here. Okay, so all we need to do basically now is just cut it. So it doesn't happen until the end over here when this thing drops off. So we're going to do go right to here. We're going to split this layer, so go up to Edit, Split Layer, or Control-Shift-D, and then we're just going to delete all this beforehand. Okay, so now when it comes to you won't see it here. You won't see it here. And then we'll just continue on there. stops there but the last thing I might do maybe is a fade out on the picture on the uh, last frame there so again let's open this up open our transform controls opacity is going to be uh, at a hundred percent right here and then maybe down to zero right here and we can do the same thing with the audio here we can click on the audio here um, that zero there, we can click right here. Click the stopwatch to start the keyframes right there on the levels and then have it come down here. Same thing, go down to about, I don't know, negative 66 is probably enough. Okay. So that's basically it. So again, you're using blending modes, you're nesting uh, different clips and different compositions, then bringing them all together and making some kind of a, oh, I don't know what the word is, visual cornucopia of some place that you like, where you like to be using these blending modes and playing with colors and, and seeing where it comes out.